Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining me for yet another shave. I don't even know where to begin with today's shave because I've got so many different things to cover. Uh, today's soap is going to be Go Ship by Black Ship Grooming Company. So this soap I've been wanting to try for quite some time. So Black Ship Grooming Company is not a new company. They started in 2008, and they were Beaver Woodwright at the time, depending on how long you've been in the shave game. Uh, a couple years ago, they switched over to Black Ship Grooming Company. They've always kind of had this pirate theme, um, but they also, at the time that they were Beaver Woodwright, used to have a Beaver logo. The company is out of Beaver, Pennsylvania. Kelly and Kitty Hogan are the actual artisans of the company. Kelly is a police officer in Beaver, Pennsylvania, and so that's where the origins of all this began. So when Ghost Ship came out years ago, it created a lot of stir, a lot of fanfare. People really love this scent. And so I've been wanting to try it for the longest of times. Um, haven't really heard a lot from Black Ship Grooming. And then recently, West Coast Shaving picked them up. Uh, like I said, in the past few years, they've kind of rebranded everything, moved everything to the pirate theme, changed the name to Black Ship Grooming. On the website, Kelly and Kitty do explain why they went with the pirate theme. They feel like pirates were bold and um, adventurous and they feel like wet shavers are that type of individual. They feel like pirates didn't really follow the masses. And so in a way, wet shavers are the same way. There's a lot of contemporary methods of shaving. We don't really follow the masses. We don't do cartridge and can goo and all those different things. We buy expensive products. We buy shaving brushes. We buy uh, metal razors. Uh, we do all the different things that folks don't do. So they kind of liken us to pirates. And so it's, I think it's a fun theme. This scent is amazing. This is sandalwood, vanilla, and grapefruit, and it just comes together beautifully. I think you'll really enjoy this. And so that's that. That soap's already loaded up in my brush. I'm gonna go with a badger brush today. This is a brush that was made by a friend of mine, uh, Anthony McKenzie from the South Florida Wet Shavers. Now, Anthony doesn't turn these handles. He kind of sources the handles, but his claim to fame right now is this big cypress knot. It's a 26 millimeter silver tip knot. And I've really been enjoying Badger these days as I figured out how to harness them, um, the luxury of them, the softness of them. I mean, everything about Badger I love. Um, I didn't used to because it was a little finicky for me, but now that I figured it out, um, I'm loving them. And so this one is probably my favorite silver tip. Silver tip has a tendency to be floppy, to not have very much backbone, but this one is so densely packed, it provides you that good backbone. I'd almost liken this to what I hear people say about the Razor Rock Chubby and that silver tip knot. I've not used that one yet, but the same details that I hear about that knot, um, I'm getting out of this knot. And so anyway, that's the brush I'm gonna use today. Also gonna be going with my Edwin Jagger DE89. Now in the actual razor itself, and I, I wanna use this razor today because I think it's a good razor to try new blades in because of its level of aggression, uh, because of its standard head. And so today I'm gonna to be using a Gillette Menorah. Now this, this blade was sent to me in a five pack by an avid viewer of the West Coast Shaving Daily Shave Series. His name is Trevor Kasawan, and uh, he's a gentleman that uh, watches our videos and uh, he's reached out to me a few times. I've gotten to know him over the past year. Really great guy, really loves the hobby. He sent me these. Now from the letter that he sent me along with this, these blades, it doesn't look like he's tried them yet either. I think he just wants to get some feedback on them. And I kind of understand where he's coming from. When you're a uh, this far along into the game and you kind of have determined what products you like and what products you don't like, when you find that level of familiarity, when you find that level of comfort in certain products, what you'll do is just tend to gravitate to them uh, because they're comfortable for you, because they're a pleasant experience and trying something new, you know, you're always thinking, what if it's a bad experience? What if it's a terrible shave? We do this kind of shaving. We go through this process because we enjoy the experience. And so when something takes us off that path, uh, I know it makes me a little uncomfortable, but anyways, I'm gonna try these blades out. Gillette makes a ton of different types of blades. This is another one. These are platinum coated blades, and so we'll see how all this goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and delve into this. And get this going. Just wanted to provide you some feedback and background on some of this stuff. So West Coast Shaving is now carrying Black Ship along with uh, another line of soaps that they recently got in and the name of that brand kind of has escaped me. What was interesting to me is I didn't realize, I barely heard of Beaver Woodwright probably three years ago before it changed to Black Ship Grooming. And they didn't have some information on their site. So the information I wasn't able to get from their website, I was able to get from their Facebook page. So I had no idea 
that black ship grooming had been around since 2008. Now that's before I got into the shave game. I got into the shave game uh, 2015, I think, is when I started. So it's just about four years for me. And so I didn't even know they were around back then. But I think, from what I can tell, so Kelly Hogan, who is uh, Kelly and Kitty, husband and wife, they're the team. Kelly is a police officer in Pennsylvania. And so he started making wet shaving products to kind of relieve the stresses, the day-to-day -day stresses of being a police officer. And so that's what the actual website says. That's how he got into it. And it sounds like he started off, just from what I read, he started off making brushes. So the website gives you some details, but it's kind of vague. Um, I think it's just to give you an idea of the company's origins and kind of the spirit behind what they do. But that's how he started. So it sounds like he started off making brushes and then they make razors as well. All these things are handcrafted. So these aren't sourced from, you know, where they're buying a razor from another company, stamping their brand and sending it out. He's actually making these things. Um, and I didn't know that either. I didn't know that Black Ship Grooming made brushes and razors. So they also make starter kits, uh, but their claim to fame as far as the community goes has to be their soaps and their splashes. Now this is a vegan base as well, so this isn't tallow. Uh, but I'm surprised already at how fast it's loading up, how fast it's forming and materializing. So and giving me that nice lather I like. Look at that, oh my gosh, it's really already almost fully formed. And I've barely even gone through the first uh, application on my face there. So I'm gonna add a little more water. So the thing with Badger that I've learned where I used to make a lot of mistakes is when you're working with bore or when you're working with synthetic, it's always add more water, add more water to build that luxurious lather that we're looking for. And with Badger, it's a little different. Badger hairs are, you know, the density in which they're packed and the fineness of the actual hairs themselves, it's finer than bore. Um, and different than synthetic, these hairs actually retain a ton of water. And so the mistake I think that I made in the past was adding water, adding water like I would a bat or a bore or a synthetic knot. And that's actually not the case with, with Badger. Badger retains so much water that you don't need to add extra water. So I find that I'm able to work what I need with the water that's in the hairs. I maybe add water one time, but really no more than that. For myself, that's all I need. Uh, other folks might go a little more, but it's, you know, whatever works for you. And at this stage, I mean, I'm, I'm really, really amazed at how fast this has come together. I really just started applying it to my face. So good job, Black Ship, on that. Um, but this scent is very unique. I haven't smelled anything like it. And this deep in the shaving game, you start to smell different scents. Um, everyone tries, you know, not everyone, but sometimes you'll get uh, different artisans that will take their stab at a certain scent that somebody else has tried. And... You start to smell a lot of things that smell similar or you'll smell a soap that's called something and you know that it's uh, basically the same fragrance as another soap called something else from a different artisan. Um, I've noticed that a lot as I've kind of gone along in years. But this scent itself is truly unique. I haven't smelled anything like it. So what was nice is when I went to West Coast Shaving to pick this up, they had a bunch of different beaver wood, or not beaver wood, right, but black ship grooming uh, soaps in the store. So that's kind of cool because, you know, unless you live by one of these shops, it's really, really difficult to, uh, you just got to order by faith. You got to go online. You have to read the scent notes and just hope you like what you're, what you're going to buy. But, you know, for me, I get the blessing of having the store nearby. I get to go in and smell all the stuff and make the determination of what I like and don't like. And what's really neat is there was quite a few scents that I'd like to pick up from Black Ship Grooming. So that's pretty neat. So Black Ship is one I've wanted to try for a long time and I just haven't gotten around to it. Like I said, I haven't seen a lot come from Black Ship lately. And then West Coast Shaving picked them up. I've gone, I've gone to their site recently and Black Ship has a ton of products. Really good stuff it looks like. But Ghost Ship was the one I heard was just like their claim to fame scent. So when I went to West Coast Shaving, I was like, give me that one. That's the one I want to try. When I smelled it, it was my favorite amongst the others too that they had. They didn't have every single one that's available, but they had a vast majority of them. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that. This, uh, this lather, very nice, vegan base, very creamy, very thick. And again, uh, the one thing I love about it is the speed in which it forms. So anyways, that's the history on Black Ship. I hope that's uh, everything that you'll need to know. 
so far I'm impressed. Um, let's see how it performs. Well, this blade is nice. Very smooth, very comfortable. So as I was saying, this soap uh, performs as good as anything. I don't know that I'm very poetic when it comes to talking about the slickness and the cushion and the, you know, I, I see folks get really into that. And, um, you know, for me, there's most soaps, there's soap. Uh, most of them are very slick. Um, today's day and age, I commented on this on one of my previous videos. In today's day and age, um, I mean, the game and the bar is set so high for artisans that most of them are meeting. I mean, you can't compete unless you're making slick soaps, you're making voluminous lathers, you've got a cushiony base. I mean, you've got one that's easy to work with. You can't have a finicky base these days. Um, it's been forever since I've actually made a remark like that about a soap, like, oh, this is a real finicky base. These days, especially the last three years, I mean, all the soaps are easy to lather. All the soaps are easy to work with. Most anyway. But I remember when I first started, there were some, you know, the, the artisan arena was kind of rounding out. And uh, I remember there being a time where, you know, there was conversation I experienced personally where a soap was difficult to lather, um, difficult to create. Or difficult to work with. So... I'm terrified right now because I don't know. The call came through and then it stopped. It didn't even continue. So I just, for some reason, forgot to put it on airplane mode. I never forget that. Um, I'm hoping that it kept my other video or the other half of this video because this shave is just great and I hope it captured everything. This lather is tremendous. Even what's left in the actual knot is amazing. Very thick, very creamy. There's a few vegan bases that, and this is just me. There's a few vegan bases that I can tell are vegan bases. Just by the way that they come together and the way that they, what does it mean that they're bad, but I can just tell that they don't have that same level of creaminess or density that tallow gives me. And then there's bases like this one that I can tell are, I mean, I really can't tell the difference. If you told me this was a tallow base and it was just, you know, a soap with no labels on it, this is very creamy, dense, and thick and it could totally pass for a tallow base. This one's good. So like I said, I'm not gonna wax poetic on the, uh, you know, this base is the densest I've tried and the slickest I've tried and the most cushiony and it took me to another parallel universe and it's just, uh, it's soap and they did a good job with it. It does what it's supposed to do. So these days I, I try, and there's some folks, maybe I just don't have the senses for it. There are some folks that, um, I mean, get really into it. I mean, like I said, they get very philosophical and poetic about the slickness, the this, the that. And I'm thinking, well, maybe they can really sense those things. I mean, I haven't used too many soaps, as I've said, 
that are void of those elements. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just weird or too simple. But there are some folks that, uh, I mean, you know, maybe there are some folks, I mean, that's why people sometimes are, um, you know, restaurateurs. People that are food critics. We can really delve into every minute detail. I'm just not that refined. So this blade has worked out pretty good, Trevor. I like it. It's pretty smooth. Now I cut my, I, I felt myself when I was coming along. See, I kind of have that indenture there with my smile. I got myself right there. I don't even really shave myself there, but I cut myself. I don't know, that's weird. Now the cut itself stings. And what that means is it's gonna bleed for days. Look at it. That's what that means. When I, when I find, when I put water over it and rinse it off and it stings, it's gonna bleed forever. A couple years back, I was shaving before a big presentation I had to do and I was getting ready to go and I was using a single edge razor at the time. Man, this stuff is thick. Man, I love this base. Look at this soap. This is just off my hand. This is just what I pulled that was left in the brush. This is a thick and creamy base. I love it. I wasn't expecting this, to tell you the truth. Because everything about them, the site, everything, I mean, it's good and all. It's just very simple. But sometimes that's how you find really good stuff. This stuff is, uh, it's pretty great. Look at that. Look at that. I got stabbed in the face. Here's open. So this soap, got to give it an A+. I'm pleasantly surprised at how well this soap performed. I like it because there's another soap that's a vegan base that I was really into that I might be selling those because it's, uh, the more I keep trying more products, the more I'm realizing there's better things out there. And, um, Better for me anyway. I love, as far as lather goes, I love density and I love creaminess. And I rarely meet people in this hobby that don't enjoy creating lathers. I think that's the, one of the primary reasons why we do it. That was a great shave, so here's hoping that my phone captured the rest of the video. Cause once that call came through and it went like it rang once and went away and it went back to the video and went to zero. It went to no recording whatsoever. So I'm hoping that 
it captured that first part of the video. Because I'm thinking, I have to try and put some alum on that. Hopefully that helps it. Um, I'm thinking that it's 2019 and I'm sure technology has accounted for those kinds of things. But who knows? And I got myself a couple little bumps down there in my neck. I don't know if you folks know it or not, but I hate with a capital H cutting myself. I hate it. It's like, I, I love, I love nothing more than a complete shave, wound free, nice and refreshing. Post shave on this, pretty great. Didn't irritate my skin at all. Good stuff. So this is the actual label again, Black Ship Grooming, Go Ship. This scent will knock your socks off. I absolutely love this. I love citrusy scents, but it's not too citrusy. And again, it's got sandalwood and vanilla, correct? Yep, sandalwood and vanilla. And it everything kind of rounds each other out. I love fragrances or soap scents that complement one another. And what I do like too is these cases or the actual containers are a little bit different. You can see there, there's lather on them, but it's a little more rounded out, a little bit different of a container than most folks use. I like their side labeling. Um, you know, everything's waterproof. All right, well that did stop the bleeding. Everywhere actually. And this video went longer because I got sabotaged by the airwaves. I have my own insurance agency and I can tell you that uh, being a business owner I get a ton of spam calls, I get a ton. I try to block them as they come in, but I get a ton of phone calls like that all the time, that ring once, or they you know, they call me incessantly daily, so it's just annoying. All right, so here's their actually spash containers. It's this kind of uh, stained or fogged glass. I really like that, and um, anyway. I just opened it this morning, I haven't even smelled it yet. You get a lot of grapefruit out of this, more than you do in the soap, so the, the actual splash itself has a very pronounced grapefruit fragrance to it. I like it though, I like the smell of grapefruit. And what's funny is, I don't really enjoy grapefruit as far as consuming it, but I like the smell. So, I love citrus scents. All right, folks, that's all. Appreciate you joining me. Hope everything comes together on this video. God bless you. I'll see you next time.